Hmm. It appears you've planted a flower that bears no fruit. Ha. See how it uh, withers before my flower of justice? He's tough. He has managed to uh, discredit almost everything I've proven up this point. Injustice we trust. Now, do you see? I'm not this phantom you've been talking about. I mean, are you sure there really is a spy? I bet they're just a figment of your imagination. Uh-oh. Now you're gonna make Black, uh, Blackwell angry. Is this a new animation? Probably. Oh, it's so sad, so very sad, but I'm afraid Miss Sykes is the culprit. Hold it. Did he actually say something incriminating? Nobody says anything about a spy? But no, he knows about the phantom. None of this phantom you've been talking about. Detective Fulbright, I believe you said... ...that the emblem is only on one side of the lighter. Are you sure about that? Hmm? Of course I'm sure. Why don't you take a, a look uh, for yourself and see? Do you see an Earth emblem on both sides of the lighter? I knew it. You're lying, detective. A pardon me? You mean... Yes. My bracelets reacted to his statement about the emblem. He's definitely hiding something big. Uh... Did he remove...? I mean, it's not about him be removing it. This is a... This is a, a made-up uh, piece of evidence. It's fake. It's fake news. It's like CNN. And I think if you use my talent, we might be able to figure it out. Justice Dono, are you to use that cheat of yours again? <laughs> cheat? It's not cheating, Prosecutor Blackwell. Huh. Very well. Whether I like it or not, I suppose we should use whether, whatever works right now. Go on, then. We have Prosecutor Blackwell's reluctant blessing, apparently. Okay, Apollo. You're up. Here goes, then. Detective Fulbright? Could you repeat that last statement one more time? What in the world are you up to? Hmm. All right, fine. I'll say it as many times as you like. Listen carefully. The Earth Emblem is only on the side that you can see when you held uh, in the right hand. Gotta be his eyebrows. This again. I'm gonna focus on his right on his right hand.
Huh. I didn't find anything. Is it the way that he blinks? I think at the very beginning he wasn't blinking at all, right? Now here, he's blinking normally. And this here, no, he is, he is blinking. Ah, there you go, there you go, we found it. Gotcha. gotcha! Detective Fulbright, you might not be aware of it yourself, but... Whenever you say the phrase, the Earth Emblem, your left thumb moves. In fact, it appears as though you're running a uh, you're uh, you're running it along the edge of your holster. Interesting, uh, Mr. Lawyer. I don't have the foggiest notion what you're talking about. Be that as it may, I know it, uh, it has something to do with the lighter. Let me examine it. But why? You're not making any sense. You can't just... Silence. Hmm. Be still and do as you're told, Fulbright. If you have nothing to hide, you shouldn't mind them having to look-see, uh, to, uh, to having a look-see, should you? What? Not you, Pr Prosecutor Blackwell. Hmm. I'm not sure what this is all about, but if Prosecutor Blackwell in insists, it must be something important. I will allow the defense to, to examine the lighter. Nah. Good. Now maybe we'll learn something new. I hope so. Now, let's check uh, every inch of this thing. And if only you actually... Oh. I was about to say, if only you gave us the, uh, the opportunity to actually examine uh, objects in 3D like uh, the older games. But lo and behold, they are actually going to allow us uh, to examine it. Okay. Go ahead and examine everything. 
Hmm. It's hard to tell if the prints are uh, from right hand or uh, left just by looking. I don't think looking at uh, each print with the naked eye will tell us anything new. But this lighter definitely hides a secret. I agree. Let's check it out carefully. That's the emblem. It shows the uh, Australian side of the globe. Or I guess that's the eastern side of the globe. So this is the Earth emblem Detective Fulbright was talking about. See anything noteworthy? Huh? Hey, look at this. The emblem's actually some kind of button. Oh, really? <gasps> it's a fucking gun? Wow, it transformed into something. That's a gun. <laughs> ah, the, well, that, uh, that's the, uh, the other gun, I guess. That is the other gun. A handle. A trigger. Is this what I think it is? There's no question, it seems. What you have there is a gun. A what? A gun. So that's it. Yeah, that's the, uh, what was, uh, what was the other one? Uh, 10 caliber? I think it was a 10 caliber. Your Honor, please recall, uh, this morning trial when, uh, when Di uh, Director Cosmos was on the stand. The bullet that hit the oxygen tank was extremely small, maybe a 10 caliber. This little impact uh, gun probably takes bullets of that caliber. Are we 100% sure? It looks like this is the gun that was fired at the scene. I'm flabbergasted. The lighter was a gun? So when Detective Fulbright would uh, touch his holster... That's right. Whenever he mentioned uh, the Earth Emblem. He must have subconsciously thought about the secret behind the lighter. In other words... He knew it was a gun from the very beginning. It seems like he, uh, yeah, he does. A lighter that transforms into a gun seems like a spy gadget to me. I think... <laughs> like, why would he? Yeah. Why would Fulbright be having a gadget like this? If it should resemble uh, something that uh, someone in the Cosmos Space Center would uh, would hold at all times, right? It, someone, uh, the someone uh, that uh, that it, uh, might actually work in the uh, spa uh, the uh, the Space Center, the Cosmos Space Center might have a reason to have something like that, but not uh, Detective Fulbright. So yeah, that's 100% uh, 100 sure. I am 100% sure of yours. That's uh, that's belong uh, to Clay. Oh yeah, and, and I'm opening uh, like a, a bottle of uh, Diet Coke, by the way, viewers. <laughs> so don't mind the noise. Yeah, it starts to get hot uh, around these parts, viewers. It got, uh, it got a little bit hot. And you might actually ask, uh, have a nice day here drinking Coke and like in the middle of the night. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a weekend. It's not the kind of thing an ordinary person can get their hands on. In fact, I'd say it's strictly in the domain of elite spies. Detective Fulbright, you will explain yourself. There's nothing uh, for me to explain. I didn't know the lighter could transform. 
I mean, it was found in the Space Museum, and then I brought it, I brought it in straight in. I brought it straight in. I didn't, I didn't even have the time to check it out. Huh. You know, it actually, this actually, this actually makes a lot of sense. Not to mention that I, I gotta be honest, I thought the, uh, the lighter was, uh, was like a fake, uh, the lighter was a fake, uh, was, is going to be a fake evidence, but, uh, uh, I, like, how are we going to go from here? Objection! Whenever you mentioned the Earth Emblem, you touched your holster. You subconsciously did that because you knew it was a gun. Accuse me all you want, but where is your proof? Do you have any evidence that I knew the lighter was a gun? I don't think we have. Not exactly. And whose prints uh, are on it? Miss Sykes's prints. It proves that she's the culprit who fired the gun at the scene. Ugh. Uh, are there prints? Are there prints? On the, uh, on the trigger? Can we actually try and find that? Actually, that, that doesn't matter. Uh, actually, it might, maybe, it, it doesn't matter that much, because uh, the uh, the gun, like, the trigger is not blooded, so. So, uh, it means that uh, he got shot, he might have uh, got shot uh, before that, or maybe, uh, like, uh, all of that was implemented uh, later on. As I said, like, he probably... Uh, found uh, Athena unconscious and just took her her hand and uh, her t uh, her took hand and just printed uh, her fingerprints on, on the on the lighter. Well, that's it. It would appear that the detective is right. Are you guys really trying to prove your client innocent or what? Although it pains me to do this now, uh, now that we are uh, where we are. I have to make the following assertion, uh, a following assertions coming from the prosecution side. The person who fired the gun at Director Cosmos in the lounge after the incident, and the person Miss Blackwell saw holding the lighter, and the person who murdered Mr. Taran, and the person who bombed the space center are all the defendant, Athena Sykes. The prints on the lighter are decisive proof. No! Now, do you see? A man on the side of, just of justice couldn't possibly be the culprit. And I think this is about sums up uh, Miss Sykes' uh, part in the whole affair. The evidence certainly does seem uh, to point the defendant's guilt. Do you have anything to say, Prosecutor Blackwell? Evidence is everything in court. Therefore, Fulbright's claims stand firm. But... Calm down, Apollo. He's just saying that because he has... He has to as a prosecutor. I mean, sure. Mr. Lawyer, our job is to pursue criminals in the name of justice. You shouldn't cast suspicions. You, ca you shouldn't cast uh, suspicion on people based on something as dubious as a habit. In fact, uh, you have a bad habit of showing up in court with an awful case of uh, of bedhead. Bedhead. This is the man who wears sunglasses at night. If it's proof you uh, you want, it's uh, it's uh, it's proof you will get. 
how can we do that? I'll prove that uh, this lighter is not Miss Sykes's, but yours. I don't think it's his. Hmm? Sounds, li sounds like you've hit, uh, hit on something, Apollo. It's just, if the prints on the lighter are the basis for accusing Athena, I think we should reconsider uh, the credibility of the evidence itself. I don't... Th that's the point. I mean, maybe that's the card we should play, but uh, how can you... How can you fake something like that? A lighter that turns into a gun? You mean you think this lighter might be for, uh, forged evidence? That's right. It could be all part of Fulbright's bigger plot. Did he do anything out of the ordinary while, while I was on my own? I can definitely think of a few things. It is indeed. Have a look at this. What's this? A lighter? I mean... The, the thing is, viewers, that I... Like, I don't think the lighter is fake. The, like, uh... The uh, the uh, fingerprints were planted. Her fingerprint, uh, were like Athena's fingerprints were uh, were planted on the lighter. That is for sure. Detective. Would like to run a comparison on uh, some prints we found on the boarding lounge. Ah yes, I just happen to have uh, compiled the print data for everyone related to this to this case. I can always make another copy for myself, so it's all yours. Consider it a gift. If we assume he's been lying, uh, uh, laying a big trap for uh, for us all along. There's got to be something off about this piece of evidence. What's wrong with the lighter as a piece of evidence? How the prints were left on it? The owner of the prints? Or the prints? Where the prints were left uh, were on it? Where the prints are on it? Where the prints are on it? What do you mean by that? The owner of the prints? How the prints were left on it? I think it's how uh, the prints uh, were left on it. But then again... Yeah, then again, uh, Athena, they mentioned that Athena was uh, never uh, never used, uh, like, uh, she always uh, had a glove on her hand. Even though the, that glove... Even though that glove... Definitely shows the... Like, it's, uh, the, uh, it's one of these uh, gloves uh, that can work for electronics that have the, uh, the tips uh, of the uh, fingers... Uh, uh, visible, so you can actually touch and uh, you know, you can actually use uh, touch screens. Because sometimes, if you uh, sometimes you know, gloves and uh, leather gloves and and even fabric gloves, or I don't know, do you call it fabric gloves? Like any kind of gloves that won't work, uh, w like uh, won't work on touch screens and whatnot. So, so some of them just leave the uh, uh, leave some parts of the fingers. Uh, Visible, so you can interact uh, the with some of these uh, gadgets. No, I, I would assume hers uh, works uh, like that. Where the prints are on it, like I think, uh, how the prints were left on it, the owner of the prints. I think this is the correct answer, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna go uh, with the other options, just, you know, to explore dialogue. Are they really Athena's uh, fingerprints? 
Oh, we're gonna actually have to double check that? They definitely match her print data. Hmm. But what about the data itself? Oh, is that the idea? Is that the idea? Did I pick the correct answer? <laughs> Detective Fulbright, you were the one who provided us with the lighter and print data. Isn't that correct? Yes, what about it? You say Miss Sykes' prints matched the print data. But I have to wonder, was the data you, uh, you used official? Mr. Wright, are you suggesting that the evidence must have been f uh, fabricated? I guess there's only w uh, one way to find out. Let's re-examine the prints. Using the official uh, sanctioned print data of the people involved in this case. What? You dare insult the, uh, the epitome of justice and integrity? There's no need for such antics. Silence. Your Honor, I'll lend my voice to the defense's request. You must allow the test to be rerun. Very well then. Bailiff! might uh, have uh, fabricated these data too. Ah, it appears uh, that the official data is here. And the results? They're gonna be the same, I believe. Mm -hmm. It's... It's just as the defense claims? This proves that the prints on the lighter do not belong to the defendant. Good. Yes! I motherfucking told you. I told you. He was the spy all along. He was the spy all along. I figured out this game. Man, have a nice day. You're too good. <laughs> you are too good! The fingerprints actually belong to the victim, Mr. Clay Terran. Lighter updated in the court record. A lighter that can transform into ha a, ha a handgun. It has Clay Terran's fingerprints and blood on it. They were Clay's fingerprints on the lighter. Ah, I see. Come to think of it. Wasn't it you, Fulbright, who collected the victim's prints? I personally removed his glove uh, during the investigation. We had to get his fingerprints to confirm his identity, after all. When you took the deceased's fingerprints, you could have easily uh, planted his prints on the lighter with his uh, blood. After which, you wiped the blood off on his hand. I don't think this is uh, what happened. Good. By your own admission, you were also the one who compiled the phony print data. All to put the, uh, all to put the blame on Miss Sykes. Geek. This boy must have been uh, to distract us from the Vantum who was behind everything. You were out to create the impression that the Vantum wasn't the true culprit. So, does this mean Detective Fulbright really is the Vantum? Nope. It's not. Remember the killer's escape route. No ordinary person would have been fearless enough to attempt it. Nobody but the Vantum, the man with no emotions, could have done it. 
Good. Detective Fulbright, you were the only one who could have used that escape route. I, I. Fulbright, are you really the Phantom? He's not. Answer me, or so help me, I will slash you to tiny uh, slivers where you stand. Nah, all right, all right, I'll talk. I confess. I... I'm not the Phantom. Silence. It's all over. Now be a man and admit it already. But I'm not a spy. I'm an under undercover investigator. I've actually been after the Phantom myself. An under the cover investigator? That sounds less uh, than uh, wholesome to me. What? Why would you call it under the cover? Undercover. <laughs> A person who hides his identity and secretly investigates in order to uncover information. And that's what you really are, Fulbright? That's right, I was working to track down the Vantum, but sadly... Even though I was, uh, I was supposed to catch the spy, the spy ended up catching me. He took my family hostage and forced me to cooperate with him? What? Objection! You're telling us this now? But if what you say is true, then... Who was the mystery person Miss Blackwell and Mr. Sarbuck saw? I saw... I was... It was the Phantom, I tell you. All I did was help him by having that emergency ladder lowered for him. I don't believe you. Then how do you explain the fabricated lighter? That was also one of the Phantom's demands. Being the detective in charge of the case, it was easy for me to fabricate evidence. Pinning the crime on Athena was just another one of the Phantom's orders. I mean, why would you... I mean, he, he probably doesn't know the identity of the Phantom. That's the reason why. I think that's the reason why. And you expect me to buy that? Fulbright. What was the Phantom's ultimate objective? I was told it was to sabotage the rocket launch. Someone who didn't want to la uh, the launch to happen must have given him the order. Actually, I have to apologize to you, too. The Vatim told me to get close to you. Whoa. He ordered me to get, uh, to get back that psych profile you have on him. So, he sent a buzzard uh, of his own to tell me this past year, did he? I, I haven't been a champion of justice. I've just been a pawn of evil. A pawn of the Vantum who stole the moon rock and killed Dr. Sykes seven years ago. Enough, Fulbright. Just tell us the Vantum's true identity. I don't think he knows. I don't know. He was very calf uh, careful to hide it. Yeah, I I think so, and I, I do believe him. I don't think he I don't think he knows the identity of the Vantum. I don't know, he was very careful, uh, careful to hide it. He has top secret information for all kinds of co uh, uh, corporations and countries. So there's a number of organizations that want him dead. Wait a minute, if he doesn't know the identity... 
of the killer. Who killed the Phantom? I think he was the, he he killed the Phantom. I really do he he I really do think that he was the one responsible. If he didn't kill him. If he didn't kill him. Then it's probably gonna be Yuri. If people believed I was the Phantom, I could be killed on the spot. Why, I bet even now? There are assassins lurking nearby. This case is about the Phantom after all. Oh, assassins. With the ceiling blown off, I suppose you are vulnerable to a sniper shot in this courtroom. Just two seconds ago, Fulbright was treating Athena like a criminal. Does he really think he's going to lie his way out of uh, out of it now? I don't think he lies. Otherwise, uh, Apollo would have detected that. But on the surface, everything does seem to make sense. This could be bad, Mr. Wright. If we can't find a, f a flaw in his logic, he's right. After we've come all, after all, we've come this. After we've come all this way, we can't let Fulbright uh, wriggle free now. There. I finally told the truth. Now I hope you see how foolish it was to think I was the Phantom. Oh, the sudden... Change of character. <laughs> He's not smiling anymore. You're an intelligent man, Prosecutor Blackwell. You believe me, right? I believe you. I don't think you're the Phantom. What? How can you say that, Prosecutor Blackwell? It's obvious he's the Phantom. Silence. Evidence is everything, right, Dono? And you must admit there's no clear evidence that Fulbright is the Phantom. I really don't think he is. I don't think he is, no. Maybe, maybe he actually need to protect the uh, identity of the Vantum. Maybe, uh, because uh, otherwise his family are going to be at risk. Uh, if, if we can believe that. But I, I gotta be honest, I don't think he's the Vantum. Hmm. Yes. As I recall, the only solid proof we've seen uh, up to this point... Is the fact that the detective uh, that uh, Detective Fulbright fabricated evidence? But I've known Fulbright here for a year now, and all this time, he's been quite uh, he's been quite intent on uh, rehab re re rehabilitating me. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of these days. I don't believe his uh, his efforts were uh, were a lie. P Prosecutor Blackwell, this fool truly thought he could reform a death row inmate like me. He went so out, uh, he went so out of his way in his effort for me. He actually became quite a nuisance, really. Prosecutor Blackwell, you believe me? Please tell me Prosecutor Blackwell hasn't really been taken in by this big phony. However, even if it was against your will, you still acted as the Vantum's accomplice. You will have to pay the price for that. Throw yourself at my mercy, and don't you ever uh, betray me again. 
Have you got that? Uh, yes. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Sniffle. <laughs> Such a bond of trust is a rare and beautiful thing. In any case, it looks like everything has been resolved. I can now hand down a, a, a not a guilty verdict with with confidence. Huh. Uh, yeah, I guess we, uh, since we've proved that uh, these prints aren't Athena's. Is Aura gonna be fine with that? I don't think so. Unless we actually want to try and get uh, the Vantum here. Because I guess we... We kind of need to get uh, into the Vantum, right? <laughs> very good! I'm very glad to hear it. It's all over. Everything has been cleared up. And Miss Sykes will go free as well. Mr. Wright, we can't let the trial end here. If we do, the Phantom, the man who killed Clay, will get away. Uh, will uh, get away. I know, I know, but uh, what do I do? I don't have any proof that Detective Fulbright is the Phantom. I don't think he is. Is this it? Is he going to get away just like that? Now, if you'll excuse me, my next investigation awaits. And with that... I'm off! Hold it! Defense? No, wait, not the defense. Uh, what do you mean, not the defense? You are the defendant. <laughs> the defendant, okay. The defendant feels it's uh, not time for the verdict yet, and would like to see this trial continue. Uh, what? But I was just about to, c to declare you innocent uh, of all charges. Hmm. It just doesn't feel right to be standing here. Hey, Apollo, think you could, uh, scooch over? <laughs> Athena, what are you doing? Uh, hope uh, we don't get uh, held in contempt of court. I have some questions for you, Detective Fulbright. Uh, yeah, it definitely makes sense that he might, he might actually definitely killed him and he's trying to get away. Maybe that's it. He feels it's actually a sense of justice for him to go away. Otherwise, it wouldn't make sense because he killed a bad guy and he shouldn't be... He shouldn't be the one, like, going to prison or something. Maybe he has this uh, false sense of justice that he is allowed to do something like that and go free with it since it's, it is like the name of uh, justice. Are you relieved that you are no longer under suspicion of being the Phantom? Are you grateful to Prosecutor Blackwell for what he's uh, done for you? Uh, of course I am, and I'm truly grateful from the bottom of my heart. Athena, where are you going with these questions? I have yet to hear a single emotion behind any Detective Fulbright's words, boss. The suspicion against him has been cleared up, but he's not feeling happy at all. What? Does that mean... We may not have uh, any eviden evidence, but the heart doesn't lie. 
That's it. With your special ability, we just might be able to stop him. Uh, sure. Uh, you, the, the, you cannot do that, though. Like, <laughs> in a court of law, you cannot do that. This is Athena's uh, theme, by the way, viewers. I like it. It's, pre it's pretty good. 